Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to add in a corner unit to a closet that's already been filled. Now if you've seen our other video on corner units, we recommend that you put the corner units in first and build the closet around them, but that's not always the case. So here's uh, an example of we have a um, three wall closet, and wall one, two, three, and on the third or a second wall, we want to put in a corner unit on this left side. You can see right now we have a uh, reserve and filler in there, and then on the first wall we have really no room for it either. So first let's hop into wall 2 and just take a look at this real quick. See we have a filler of uh, that's 13 wide, that's my uh, default. And then the reserve is 14 wide, which is the depth of the unit on wall 1. So let's hop over to wall 1, and you can see that the depth of this unit is 14 deep, so that's where that uh, reserve of 14 comes in. So in order to put in a corner unit, we're going to need to make some room. Let's uh, remove this unit that's on the right side of wall 1. We just remove the unit that's up in this corner. We're looking at the overhead view right here. And now you can see on wall 2, everything has shifted over. In Closet Pro, everything lines up to the left as you put stuff in. It fills in from the right side. Um, so everything shifted over. Uh, and now we want to remove this reserve and filler. So just come into the reserve, edit unit, and let's delete that out. And that removes our filler over there also. So we filled up about 25 inches of uh, space on wall 1, and now we have 27 over here. So let's add in our corner unit. Now something to note, you can see the rights are not able to be selected right now. Only the lefts are available. That's because we still have this filler on the right side, along with this unit on wall 3 that's blocking us from putting in a corner shelf over there. So let's put in this left L shelf. And now if you look at this overhead view again, you can see it came in and looks almost overlapping since it's one unit coming all the way in and then back out. So on wall one, up back over here, you can see this corner unit came in. And now we get left with some open space in both of these walls. So in order to fill that out, just come into the corner unit and you can hit expand to fill wall. It's the double arrow right there will do that for you. And now we have a little more on wall 2 also. Come in, edit unit, and you can see it's telling you the max, but again we just have this button right here that will expand to fit the wall. It pops right in. So let's take a look at this. And here's our corner unit that we just added in. So that's how you can add in corner units to an existing closet. If you have any questions, just feel free to call us. Thanks.